We're making a classic Italian family favorite today. We're making rollatini and I can't wait to share it with you. There are very many ways that you can make rollatini. Some you use like a breaded eggplant or zucchini method. Most of them don't and I don't either because I love the lightness of the vegetables without a heavy coating, but we're gonna make it luxe and delicious anyway. And it's really easy. We have an abundance of zucchini growing in the garden, so it's perfect if you have a ton of those as well. Or if you've got eggplant coming up, mine are not up yet, but they are coming. This was just a store-bought one. It was the smallest one I could find, but whole homegrown, definitely better. These are zucchini from the garden. You can use a mandolin or just a sharp paring knife, Nana style, like I'm doing right now. And you're just gonna slice your zucchini and eggplant lengthwise until they're nice and thin, not too see-through. They will become more pliable after you cook them. And when you cook them, you can do one of two things. You can put these on a baking sheet with a little bit of olive oil in the oven at like 400 for 10 minutes, or you can do what I do. I'm just gonna cook them in my skillet in batches very quickly, a minute on each side until they become pliable. Um, just cause I feel like it's gonna be, you know, easy as I slice, I cook, and it just makes life that much easier. And like I said, you can use a mandolin if you want to, but if you're gonna use, if you're gonna do it by hand, just keep an eye. And as I slice them, I put them on my mapine, on my kitchen towel, just to absorb any excess moisture. And then I'm gonna get these into the skillet to cook. Okay. I went ahead and cooked these for a minute and a half on both sides. I've got a simple pot of my basic marinara sauce simmering. I already made a full video, just a few videos back, titled Spaghetti with Marinara Sauce. That is what this is. It's that exact same recipe, but you can use any marinara sauce you like or even a store-bought sauce if you like. I've got my eggplant, my zucchini ready, and I've got my ricotta here. So I've got some full fat milk ricotta here to it. I'm gonna add a pinch of Italian seasoning along with an egg. To that, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, handful of grated parmigiano, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just take some fresh basil from the garden and I'm gonna give this a nice fine chop and I'm gonna add it right in. Let's say like seven or eight leaves, maybe a little bit more, you know. Basil is like vanilla extract. You let your soul decide when enough is enough. But I want it finely chopped. Perfection. And then I'm gonna add in some cubed up provolone and I've got some shredded mozz. You know, I don't typically go with the pre-shredded cheese, but that's what I had on hand and that is what I'm going to use. And I'm just gonna mix this together. Now working with a piece of eggplant or the zucchini, whichever, at a time, I put a little bit on one end and then I just roll like that. Perfect, don't overstuff. It's inevitable that some will come out anyway, but overstuffing will just make it really messy. I'm just gonna continue to roll. Got all my rollatini ready. My marinara sauce is ready. I took about half of it out. I might not need all of it. Plus, I'm gonna put these right in here and bake it all together anyway. And I do need some on the bottom and some on the top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay these down in here. My oven's preheated to 400. And I'm just gonna carefully put these in here. And if the ricotta oozes out or whatever, who cares? Doesn't matter. It's all gonna end up being absolutely scrumdily delicious. I've got my eggplant. I've got the zucchini. It's making my mouth water. It's gonna be a pretty stuffed pan, but you know what? That's how I like it. I'm just gonna stuff them all in here. Pan's pretty stuffed, but that's okay. We're gonna just drizzle some of the sauce on top. You won't need all of it. Otherwise, you're kind of just gonna bury them, but you can certainly serve more sauce on the side. And if you want to serve a little pasta situation with it, that would be quite wonderful. Parmigiano, I want a good handful of that. Look how gorgeous. A little bit of provolone and mozz, if you got it. It's kind of like a veggie lasagna, if you will. And if you want to, if you want a little crunch action, this is really totally optional. You could take some panko breadcrumbs or even 
regular breadcrumbs and moisten them with a little bit of olive oil. You want the texture of like a wet sand. And you can just sprinkle that over the top. That's gonna give you the crunch factor, kind of like as if you were rolling each one in breadcrumbs and frying them first. And that's it, in a hot oven, 20-ish minutes. I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Proper home food. My rollatini looks absolutely scrum delicious. You can see the breadcrumb has gotten really nice and crispy. The cheese is really melty. They were in the oven at 400 for about 25 minutes. Perfection. They smell great. Almost burned my hands. But you know what? It's fine. And you're worth it. I'm just going to grab one out because... Oh, look at the cheese. Uh, I love that for me. I'm just going to grab one out for a bite just because I need to take a thumbnail for you. I can't wait to have dinner. The filling stays really nice and intact. You're gonna have to give me a minute because these literally just came out of the oven. This is gonna scorch my mouth. Look at this, look at the steam. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Hot. So hot. Mmm. They're delicious. They're light. They're flavorful. I think the provolone is a really nice addition here just because it gives you a little sharpness and a little strength in the filling. Otherwise, the filling can be quite bland, but it's creamy and delicious. It's everything. Go to lariainthekitchen.com for the full written recipe. If you've got zucchini coming up, if you've got eggplant, or you've got a local farmer's market that has them in abundance, grab them and make this. You will love it. Hope you enjoy spending time with me. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.